He's anti-abortion rights. We will always defend the very first right in the Declaration of Independence, and that is the right to life. And now Donald Trump is bringing his gag rule on abortion abroad home to America. His administration plans to keep federal funding from organizations that provide abortions or refer patients for the procedure. The policy dates back to decades ago. It would reinstate a rule first approved by President Ronald Reagan that was never fully implemented. I think it's long overdue. Um, I think that abortion is an ex a very extreme procedure. We know that. Uh, we know that it's not good for women. Um, and quite frankly, there's no reason for the federal government to be subsidizing abortions as far as we're concerned. Under a federal program called Title X, health centers receive $260 million to provide basic services such as contraception and screenings for sexually transmitted diseases to 4 million people. At the moment, clinics are allowed to provide abortions using non-federal funds. But under Trump's plan, that would change and clinics such as Planned Parenthood that provide abortions or give counseling about the procedure would no longer get funding. We're talking about taking health care away from millions of Americans, uh, life-saving health care, including cancer screenings and other preventive care like birth control and testing and treatment for sexually transmitted infections. Last year, Trump imposed a global gag rule, denying nearly $9 billion in U.S. aid to healthcare organizations in the developing world if their doctors even mention the word abortion. But his rule is also impacting programs for malaria, HIV, and child health. NGOs like the Marie Stopes Ladies, which offers family planning services from Burkina Faso to Zimbabwe, say they may have to close up shop. The group has been entirely funded by a $1.25 million grant from the U.S. and has now seen that money cut when it refused to comply with the new rules. So by the time all the programs funded by the United States are implemented, we will have a serious gap. Healthcare providers say without family planning, maternal mortality rates are likely to skyrocket more women could seek dangerous alternatives to terminate their pregnancies, such as drinking battery acid or using wire coat hangers. From Nigeria to Nebraska, do gag rules hurt women? Or is the U.S. well within its rights to reclaim its funding on its own terms? Christine Pirovolakis, The Newsmakers.